I'm waiting for the comments to come up so I know that you're here. <gasps> Say hello. I'm waiting. There's Max. Good morning. There's Max. Hello. Good morning, Max. Good morning. Wait, wait, morning, jokers. He just woke up. Hold on, family time. Mm. 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 Did you sleep good? Yes, I did. That's great. Awesome. I'm, I'm waiting for the comment box. <gasps> there it is. Finally. Finally. There. I can see everybody now. Yay. Who's here? Alyssa, Kimmy Jean, Jackie, Eddie, the plant eaters, Annette, Vanessa, Bonnie, Becky, Tina. <gasps> Good morning. How are you? I'll tell you. I really didn't know what I wanted to put together this morning. But I did know that I wanted to bake because we finally have some cold weather here in Texas. It is a freezing 60 degrees. Yeah, I'm like, I have two shirts on. I'm trying to stay warm. It's, it's freezing. Anyways, it's just cold enough that now I have to bake. I have to bake something. Any whisper of cold weather, and I am in a baking mood. You know what I mean? You get that way? You get that way? High five. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to make something for breakfast, and I want to go ahead and get lunch knocked out, and if I make enough lunch, then it can be supper. There's my girl. Hold on. Maggie just woke up, too. Everybody's just waking up. There's Maggie Moo. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Mm. How Hi. are you? Oh, you got lipstick on your face. Uh, ah. I don't know. You had lipstick on. Did you sleep good? Yeah. Good. What are you going to do with yourself this morning? I'm going to watch TV and draw hey. a bunch. What are you going to draw? What? It's something to do oh, with... Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to uh -huh. Yeah. I have hired her to create some drawings for me for a cookbook that I'm putting together. Okay. So, uh... So she's a really good artist, and so I'm excited about it. I'm so excited. All right, get out of my I'm face. So get out. Your, your, your cuteness is stealing my show. Okay, I want to get busy making some banana pecan muffins. The recipe is not my own. It's one that I made, um, that I tried a long time ago, back like the first year we were plant-based. It comes from the China Study Cookbook by Leanne Campbell. I think that was probably my third, probably my, yeah, I think it was my third plant-based cookbook that I, that I purchased to kind of, you know, help me get used to cooking plant-based and all that good stuff. And I know this banana muffin recipe is super simple. It's easy to throw together. And I'm combining it um, with that crumble that we made a couple of weeks ago that came out of McDougal's book, you know, when we when we made that um, cranberry apple crumble. Okay, the crumble for that recipe is, is gonna go on top of the, these muffins, these banana muffins. Doesn't that sound good? No, 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 no. And then for lunch, uh, I'm just gonna, yes, I cook from my own cookbook. So if you'll turn if you have your OMG good Instapot Meals plant-based and oil-free book, you know, the one with my face on it. If you turn to page 58, you'll be there with, uh, that's my go-to lentil soup recipe, except I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit. We're gonna add some stuff to it. So you can follow along here to see what I'm throwing in, but I'm gonna throw in some uh, extra ingredients. Oh, doesn't that sound good? And then that's it. And then the rest of the day, I think I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I have no idea. What are you gonna do with yourself today? Share in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna get started on these muffins. The oven is preheated 375 degrees, and then I just wanna throw, uh, get all these ingredients together. Okay, let's go right here. I'm gonna move you a little closer to the bowl. Get you some bowl action here. Na 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 na. Say hello to Mrs. Butternut. She, uh, I drew her the other day. She's reminding me. She says, please, I want to go into a soup. Make something of me. I need purpose. Without purpose, I have nothing. I am rotting. I need a place 
in this life. Please. Okay, all right, that's enough. All right, Mrs. Squash, I'll put you in a recipe, but not today. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so let's get busy on these muffins. I'm gonna start out with, can you see this well enough? Yes, you can. Okay, I need to start out with two cups of whole wheat pastry flour. One. Two. I do not have this recipe written out anywhere. It's just something I have. It's, you'll have to you'll have to get the uh, China Study cookbook. Okay. Then I need one teaspoon of aluminum-free baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, that's all my dry goods. This is super, super simple. I'm gonna give this a toss. Get this mixed up. I was considering throwing in a little rolled oats in here just to kind of make it meatier. But I, I, then I got the idea to add that crumble from the, from the cranberry apple crumble recipe instead. Okay, there we go, that's that part. Now I need to add my wet, oh, yeah, oh, I almost forgot the sugar. I don't know why that's separate. Um, the recipe calls for a fourth cup of succinate. I do not own succinate because I cannot find succinate anywhere near me. But I do have some organic sugar here. So I'm gonna use a fourth cup of organic sugar. And then for my nuts, I got out some uh, chopped pecans. And I'm gonna add a fourth cup of chopped pecans. All right, let me stir that in. Then we'll add the wet. <laughs> it's been a long time since I made this. A long time, but I do know it's good. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna make a little well. Well. Well, Mrs. Squash, what do you think? Okay, now I need to add, I've got here two ripe bananas that have been smashed. La la la. Oh, I need, you, I need to remind y'all that the first Saturday of November, you need to make sure that you tune in and watch my live cooking show that morning. I have something very special planned for us. In fact, you need to set aside time, a little time Thursday night, Friday night, no, 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 I'm sorry, Thursday morning about lunchtime, Friday about lunchtime, and then all of Saturday morning, all the way up to noon, you need to be ready to tune in to this channel. Okay, I don't wanna tell you what I'm doing yet, but those are the times that you need to be online. Okay, now I need to add one cup of non-dairy milk, and you know me, I like unsweetened plain soy milk. And I just wanna stir this just until my dry ingredients are moist, but I don't wanna over stir. I just wanna leave this a little lumpy because we are making muffins and muffin batter needs to be a little lumpy. Just a little. Okay, there we go. Not too much. I kind of like it like that, where it's like a little, you know, it's still a little dry right there on top. Because in the time it's going to take me to get the rest of my recipe together, all that flour is going to be, will be wet. Muffin dough should be, muffin batter should be lumpy. That's how you get those little pockets and you get all that texture and springiness that makes a muffin a muffin. Okay, let me just toss. Well, actually, I'm going to need that. Let me wipe my fingers. There's another UK watcher here. Yay! Look at all these beautiful people watching. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are so awesome. Y'all are so awesome.
want some? Let me kiss you. Doesn't she look like me? I mean, she's hot like me. She's shaped like me. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I need to move this. Let's get the... Excuse me, Mrs. Squash. I need the baking pan. Okay, my dough's done up. I'm going to use my ice cream scooper to divide my dough out. Here's that crumble from the cranberry apple crumble that I made a couple of weeks ago. I already had that set aside. Um, if you don't know this recipe, I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to go over and watch that video. Look for, what did I call it? Baked crumble, baked, baked apple crumble. I just did it like two weeks ago. It's there, right there at the top of the top of the channel. Okay, go watch that. All right, let me divide this up. Can you see? Oh, you can't see quite as well. Let's back it up a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Now you can see. These are going to go in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. And, and while we're while they're baking up, we'll put together the lentil soup. Ah! The pan I'm using is a Wilton 12 cup regular size muffin pan. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. Ooh. I am gonna be short one muffin. Look at that. Okay, this doesn't make 12 muffins. This makes 11 muffins. Good to know. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've made this recipe. Let's see if I can squeeze enough muffin out of my pan. This is where the waste nothing comes in. My waste nothing upbringing. I bet if I scrape this bowl clean, I can get enough for a, this 11th muffin. Look at that. Look at that, I'm so good. I am so awesome. I can't believe it. I am so, oh, there's more right there, hold on. I am so awesome. I can't believe All right, there you go, that's it, got that. Let's throw on the crumble. Chris is asking me, Jill, will you print the recipe for us on the video? Well, that's a good idea. I will, um, yes, I will post it in the, when the video's over, I will post it in the video description and I will make it, I will put it in the comments. How about that? Then you guys can just copy and paste. All right, I'm gonna just stick this crumble on top. I've got way more crumble than I've got muffins, but who cares? I'll just eat the rest of it. Because that's how we do. I think it'll be best to press this crumble into the muffins, too, just to make sure it's going to stick. Da, da, da. What do you think about that, Mrs. Squash? Don't they look wonderful? I'm going, hey, wait a minute. I might have just enough. Oh, look here. I might just have enough. Just enough. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's working out. It's working! It's working! I love it when the recipes work out like that. Okay, now I'm going to press this in here. I want to make sure these stick when, we, when I go to pull these out of the oven. I mean, when I try to pull these out of the bakeware, bake pan here, I don't want all my crumble falling off. You know what I'm saying? That's that's disappointing. You worked so hard to put a little fun crumble on it and then it just falls off. You're like, what happened? Why? Why? Mmm, that's good crumble. Okay. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that right there. That's that's the baker's treat. Mmm. Yeah, baby. Okay, let's pop this in the oven. Come and watch me. Oh, look, look. Whoa, whoa. Look at there. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go, baby. Whew. That's a little higher than middle, but. Come on. All right. I'm going with 18 minutes. Just because I have 
an old oven and sometimes it, you know, it runs hotter than better. It runs hotter than it runs cooler. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> okay, next, um, I'm going to clear this off real quick and then we're going to get started. Ooh, some glare. The morning sun is here. Here comes the sun. La, 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 la. Sing with me. Here comes the sun and I say, it's all right. Little darling, I don't remember the words after this line, but it won't stop me from singing because I think you're fine. Okay, let's get cooking. Okay, let's work on the lentil soup. Let's do that. Hey, there you are. Look, there I am back there on the laptop. <laughs> Stay right there. Don't move. Don't fall. Okay. Um, I'm just going to push this stuff over. Hold on. Just a minute. Hang on. Shoo! I cut this onion before the show, before the show, and I'm telling you, it actually smells kind of weird right now because I have this, I have this mix of sugar and bananas and chopped onion, all swirling around in my kitchen. Mmm, smells weird. All right, you get out of my way, stuff. All right, you got your book open? Huh, huh, huh? Do you own a copy of my book, OMG Good? Plant-based meals, or actually Instapot meals, plant-based and oil-free. If you don't, you need to get it. If you go over to Amazon, you'll find it over there in print. And when you buy the print copy of the book, you get the Kindle version for free. Uh-huh. You're welcome. I have a new uh, recipe collection out, too, while we're talking about books real quick. Look up. I don't have a cover because this one is not in print. This is an electronic cookbook. I've just uh, revised Jill's Marinades for Soy Curls and Soy Curls Jerky. You remember that video that we shot? probably what, a month ago or two months ago when we talked about soy curls. Well, anyways, I took all those recipes from that video plus some more and I wrapped that into a, uh, I read it, had it redesigned and now it's in PDF. It's available on Amazon and Kindle and it's available on iTunes. Uh, just look it up, Jill's Marinades for Soy Curls and Soy Curl Jerky. It's a beautiful book. I'm really proud of it. It's super cheap. So you can go to my website to get the PDF. You can go to Amazon to get it on Kindle, or you can go to iTunes and get it for iBooks. Take your pick. It's all there. And let me just thank you right now, ahead of time, for downloading that book. You are so awesome. All right, let's make this lentil soup. I'm gonna get this rocking while that's baking. You know what I mean? Okay, so for my lentil soup, I got my iPod out. And if you don't have an iPod, well, you need to get one. You are seriously missing out on some fun cooking and making your life easier. Okay, so, um, okay, so I'm gonna turn this on to, actually I don't need to turn it on at all. Well, I'll just turn it on. I turned it on to saute to get the pot warmed up, but you don't have to do that. All right, here I have two and a half cups of red lentils that I've already rinsed out. I've already washed. Woo! Which, because I've washed them, they're all stuck to the bowl. La 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 la. Vanessa says, I got that Soy Curls book on Kindle and waiting for my 12 pound box. Ah, oh, yeah! Now, Vanessa, make sure you have plenty of room in your second freezer or in your freezer 
because you'll need to keep them stored in the refrigerator or in the freezer. All right, there we go. Okay, look at this, I got lentils all over me. <gasps> oh, you know what, I'm gonna need some water. Whoops, I need some water, just a second. Get that going. Okay, and then I wanna add, this is one medium-sized sweet yellow onion, and I just chopped that up. Whoa, way too much water. Uh, hold on. So far, we're going by the book. And then I have my spices, which are, let me look, I have to look because I don't try to memorize these things. I have in here one teaspoon of dried cilantro, one teaspoon of turmeric, dry turmeric, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and a fourth teaspoon, teaspoon of chipotle chili powder. Any spicy chili powder will work. That's just the one I have on hand. Okay, that's on top. Okay, now that's the recipe from the book. Now we're gonna go off-road. Well, I'm gonna add the water, but now I'm gonna add the water last. Okay, I have some organic fresh baby spinach. And I'm gonna add a couple of handfuls of spinach. I do not measure. This is my idea of a handful. Or a faceful. Maybe it's just a faceful, because that's about the size of my face right there. All right, so I want, I want two of these. Because you know how spinach is? You think you're putting a lot in your pot, but you're not. And if you really love spinach, it is so disappointing not to have enough spinach in your food. It's like, what? And you have to share it with other people. It's not fair. Okay, there's that. Now I need the other ingredient. Um, I'm not going to use this whole bag, but I went ahead and washed it up. This is a, how many pounds is in this? Oh, it doesn't say. Does it not say? Oh, here it is. It's a two pound bag of baby red potatoes. Here, here in America, they're size C red potatoes. They have, they're about <clears throat> two inches in diameter. Okay, so like, you know, compared to my womanly thumb here, they're not that big, okay? They're not that fat. Okay. And I'm going to throw these in whole. I'm going to put them on top. I don't have to pierce them. You know, I need my bigger one. I'm actually using my five quart iPod, and I should be using my six quart. <gasps> I was not thinking. Should have changed that out. Well, I've almost got them. Okay, I've almost got all those potatoes in there. Minus six potatoes. All right, now I need to add, back to the recipe, I need to add six cups of water, which I need to measure out. Oh, oh I almost spilled it. And this is hot water. Anytime I'm cooking a soup or I'm, uh, well, anytime I'm cooking a soup, I like to add boiling water to my iPod just to speed up the cooking time or shorten my cooking time. You know, when when we're pressure cooking, you have to, there, there, there's a certain amount of time that the, the cooker needs to heat up the, the pot and get the pressure going. And if, when I dump cold broth or cold water, or even cold ingredients into my pot, it just takes that preparation time longer. So I try to, you know, put room temperature food and hot liquids into my pot just to make it come to pressure faster. Okay, now I'm gonna turn off my cancel by hitting the keep warm cancel button. I'm sorry you can't see my screen. You know, I want you to see my face and see the iPod. Okay. All right, and I want to set the cooking time 
to 15 minutes. So I'm going to hit manual, which is the pressure cooking button. It automatically sets the pot to high pressure. And then I'm going to use the minus key to adjust the cooking time. It automatically sets to 30 minutes. Hey, hey! I was talking too much. It'll go on without you if you're not careful. Okay, back to hit the minus key. Come on! And I'm going to take it down to 15 minutes. Whoa, back up. I went too far. Okay, there we go. So, if you don't know what I'm, for everybody that has an iPod, y'all just, you know, make some notes or something. Uh, for anyone who does not have the iPod, what's going to happen here is it needs a little bit of time to heat up and come to pressure. And I've got this pretty full, so, but it should come to pressure in about 10 minutes because it's so full. Hopefully five. And then the cooking time will begin. And then the cooking time will go for 15 minutes. It will beep like it was beeping before. And then it will automatically keep kick in to a keep warm mode. And then lunch is ready whenever I'm ready or we are ready. It, there will still be pressure in the pot. And uh, there's a little metal rod back here uh, to let me know that there's still pressure in the pot. But when I have a steam release handle. Can you see that? It's a little dark. I'm sorry. There's a little steam release handle here, and I have it turned to sealing, but there's another, if I turn it to venting, all the pressure in the pot will escape out, and then there's a, oops, sorry, there's a, uh, there's a little valve here. You can't see it right now because it's down, but it will be, it will drop down, and that will let me know that the pressure in the pot is gone, and I can safely open up the lid. If the valve is still up, I actually cannot open the lid. It's a safety feature on this appliance. There's no way for you to open the lid while the valve is up, just so you know. All right, there you go. We're gonna let that rock and roll. I have six minutes left on the muffins. Oh, I'm so excited and I'm hungry. I'm hungry, I need some breakfast. <gasps> what did you have for breakfast? I'm getting ready to read your comments, so you need to post. I'm gonna get some of this stuff out of my way. Hang on. Take a look at here. Let's let's look at the beautiful Mrs. Squash for just a minute. Gaze on her beauty. There we go. Talk to her. She's very friendly. She needs an accent, I think. Does she need an accent? Oh. Oh, girls, let me tell you. What, what accent could I hang on to? I'm not really sure. I could have one. Maybe she looks Southern. She could have one of those Southern accents. You know, child, the other day, I was in the dress barn, and I saw Mabel come in, and she was wearing the most hideous dress. She was wearing plaid. Can you believe it? Plaid. Why would anybody think plaid is a good color or flattering to the hips? I'll never know. I couldn't hardly bear to stand next to her, but then again, the plaid was just, oh. I said good morning as a Lady lie, lady should say to her friends, but I didn't stand there long. Okay. Four minutes. Four minutes, Miss Butternut. Keep them entertained. Have you been watching Mrs. Or Dr. Pam a Papa this week. She has had some very interesting videos. Oh my. I love her. She has such a dry, biting sense of humor. I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. You know what I'm saying. <gasps> Okay. Evelyn says, Dawn, I'm low on red lentils. This could be done with a 
Oh, could this be done with a mixed green lentils instead? I know they won't break down as nicely. I have no idea. Oh, it's not Evelyn, it's Evelina. I have no idea, Evelina. You're gonna to have to try that out and let us know how it works out. Thank you, Mrs. Butternut. I got my kitchen clean now. I'm going to look at your comments. Okay, let's set up. We've got just a few minutes before the uh, before the muffins are ready. I'm going to come over here. It's just you and me this morning. So I'm going to put you right across from me at the table. Oh my goodness. I need a more adjustable. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Tripod. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right, what have y'all been saying? What have y'all been talking about while I've been a goofball? Porridge, oats, bananas, and blueberries. Are y'all talking about what you're eating for breakfast? Hey, there's a lot of sun coming in. Sun, sun, you're sunning me. Aziz is here. Hello, Aziz. Oh my goodness. Hello, 54 crisp degrees. Oh my goodness. I don't know what the temperature is this morning. I just know it's chilly. Plant-based cheap, cheap skate says, wish I could watch, but I am at Texas Veggie Fair. Well, you're, you left a comment. You are able to watch. You might run into some people, but that's okay. Tell them that you're watching me. Show them my video. You know, recruit some people to come and watch this channel. Come on. <laughs> Kimmy Jean, you're so funny. She said, it's not the sun, it's my radiant glow. <sighs> yes, you can fl flatter me all you want. I completely just pour it on. <gasps> pour it on. Shelly says she saw a snowman in the background. That's my cookie jar I got for Christmas last year. I'll show it. Let me get it. Let me get it. I got this from my aunt. Isn't this cool? It... That will just keep going. You, you got to yank his head off. And then you have to dive into his guts to get sugar out. That's how you do it. And I've been telling myself that every time I rip his head off and I dig into his gut, that I will eventually look like him. So if I don't want to look like him, I need to keep his head on. That's what I'm saying to myself. Everybody else can rip his head off as much as they want, but not me. Let's go get those muffins. That oven will not shut up. It will just keep on going and going and going. And going and going. Okay, I need both my mitts. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Don't fall. I hope these turned out. I hope the crumble's nice and crunchy. Let's see. Oh, they puffed up so pretty. Oh, yay. I don't know if they might need an extra two minutes. I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. Let me touch the top. Oh, they're solid. Yay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yay. Oh my gosh. Oh, we have some sexy Instagram muffin. Look, 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 look. Oh my goodness. Hold on. This is hot. I don't want to burn myself. Whoa. I need to put this on a pan. Hold on. It's not gonna work. Okay, there we go. He's, look. Oh, look at those birdie muffins. 
Check out my muffins, baby. You know you want them. You want to take my muffins. Oh my goodness, look at there. Oh, that looks so good. Look how it cracked, that one cracked. Oh, now I'm gonna wait five minutes. We need to let them cool. Longest five minutes of our lives right here. I want them to cool a little bit and then I'm gonna use a offset spatula, run it around the edge and then pop these out. If I try to do it now, they'll fall apart. You know what I'm saying? And that's no fun. Who wants torn up muffins? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I need somebody to take a picture. I gotta remember not to eat them all and save a few. Save a few for the picture to post. Make a thumbnail. Oh my gosh, they're perfect. Hey, look, let's look at them together. Let's have a few moments. I can't see the, com the laptop's way over there. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Look at there. Let's just look at these. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, muffins. Banana pecan muffins. And this, these are on. This, this uh, crumble is, it's stuck. I'm glad I pressed it in. Of course, the maple syrup. Oh my gosh, it's good. Oh my goodness. Oh, maybe I should call these granola muffins. Oh, banana granola muffins. Oh my gosh, has it been five minutes yet? How long's it been? Somebody keep a timer. Let me know when five minutes is up. I'm gonna eat all these little crusties that fell off. Can I do that? That's my right as a baker, right? That I can eat all the crunchies. Yummy. Yum. Oh, I wanna pull that one out so bad. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, I'll tell you what. I can't wait. I'm gonna bring these, ow, ow. I'm gonna bring these muffins to the table. Uh, uh, ah. Ooh, 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 hot, 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 hot. Hot! Okay, yeah, okay. And then we're gonna be right there. Okay, and then like that. Okay. Oh, you're standing up. Why don't you sit down? Here, come and sit. Don't don't stand over me. That, here, that's not hold on. Hey, don't look down my shirt. Don't be looking down my shirt. My, there's nothing to see, but still. <gasps> hey! No, just kidding. There's nothing there. Don't worry about it. That's right, Jenna. Jenna! I was reading your comments this morning. I saw you. I, I saw the comment where you talked about um, that you couldn't find liquid smoke. So, are you know, liquid smoke is just, um, it's just an ingredient that adds smokiness, you know, a, a barbecue flavor to food. So, what do you have over there that, um, that would equate to that? The, oh, I don't know how to pronounce this. The Hankum says those muffins would taste good with the soy latte I'm drinking right now. Oh, I wish I had a soy latte right now. That sounds good. Jackie Holloway says family will love these. They are begging me for something other than beans. <laughs> yeah, you gotta break it up somehow. You gotta break up the monotony. We, um, I've taken a break from making smoothies. Uh, because I've been trying to um, adjust my own taste buds to having more savory foods for breakfast on a daily basis. And um, it's not working out so well. It's, it's, I mean, I've been enjoying the breakfast, but the kids, uh, without making smoothies for them, then they're kind of turning into cereal all the time for breakfast, or they're making, you know, peanut butter on toast, which those are fine things, but they were doing a lot better when I was making green smoothies packed with spinach and bananas and strawberries and you know some kind of frozen fruit you know like frozen strawberries and frozen blueberries and I was adding oatmeal you know rolled oats to the dish they were doing a lot better off 
when I was making smoothies. So I have to go back. I, I feel guilty that uh, they're not getting um, their green punch in the morning. So I'm going to go back to making those. They'll be happy. I know. Shelly says, can you replace liquid smoke with smoked paprika? I, I don't think that would be the same. That's, there's not enough smoke in smoked paprika to equal what liquid smoke would do. Margie Adams says, I bought liquid smoke on an Amazon, all flavors for under 20 bucks. There you go. You can go to Amazon or go to Colgan, the Colgan brand website themselves. They sell the little bottle, like they come with the little plastic bottle. They also uh, sell a glass bottle. I think there's like two cups of liquid smoke. And then they also sell it by the gallon. And I actually have a gallon of pecan and a gallon of apple liquid smoke. Apple wood liquid smoke. And, uh, that, that was very affordable. I mean, very affordable. It's, it's actually um, more affordable to buy straight from Colgan than it is to buy from Amazon, which is not, you know, typically the case. Usually we find pretty good deals on Amazon. But in this case, you'll get a better price um, on the website. Same goes for Butler Foods soy curls. You'll get a much better uh, price uh, on their website versus Amazon. Oh, that's true. And that's reminding me that Miss Maggie knows how to whip up an excellent smoothie for both her and her and Master Max. This is true, but even she has kind of, um, she's, she would rather just pour a bowl of cereal in the morning because she's kind of tired and you know, she's a little lazy in the morning, so she doesn't really want to make that. She doesn't have that drive and motivation, you know, like we do to to eat healthy. She just wants to go ahead and get something and put it on her stomach and move on to what she's more interested in. You know what I'm saying? Our kid, My kids are not interested in cooking. They're interested in eating, but they're not interested in the world of cooking, so it's not the same drive. <sighs> This is true. I should just make the best of both worlds. Jenna says, oh, excellent suggestion. Shipping across the pond can get costly. Thanks. Yeah, that's true. Margie says, wow, Joe, you are hardcore. What am I hardcore about? What could I possibly hard be hardcore about? Jackie says, we are new to plant-based food, so starting with easy and working towards variety. The Instapot has been worth its weight in gold. Yeah. Woo! I use it every day now. Oh yeah, you. Okay, Jackie, let me ask you, how many times has it crossed your mind that you might want to have two Instapots? Hmm? How long did it take you for that to pass your mind? I, I can't remember how long it took me, but there's there are times, you know, even now that uh, I'm thinking maybe I should get a third one. And here recently, uh, you know, with Max and Maggie shooting up, Maggie, we, she and I are nose to nose, and she can take out the food. Max can take out the food, and I now I'm seriously considering buying that eight quart Instapot because I need to make enough food to feed us for dinner and leftovers. We are always eating leftovers for lunch the next day, and. Um, you know, I don't want, I love cooking, but I don't want to cook every meal. You know, I, I like cooking dinner and, uh, and then I like reheating dinner for lunch. And then, you know, like we were just talking about for breakfast, you know, breakfast is usually a do it your, you know, fend for yourself, um, you know, meal. So, uh, just, I just try to make sure that I have, you know, stuff on hand for them. But, uh, but I can't, I mean, I can't, I'm, I'm getting to where I can't keep up. We, we're, we're fighting over lunch leftovers. And so, I think I'm going to end up, you know, coughing up for that eight quart. Either that or just get another six quart. I did think about that. But like this morning, like this right here, you saw me. Of course, I was using the five quart. I put those lentils in. Oh, hold on. My steam release handle. It was just now coming to pressure, however long that was taking. And uh, my, my steam release handle was turned to venting, so all the steam was uh, coming out of the pot. But as soon as I turned it to sealing, the, the uh, rod came up and it locked on. So now it should start its cooking process. What was I saying? I've already forgot. 
Shelly says, I tried the same with the website that was removed. What? What website was removed? <gasps> Margie says, about the liquid smoke, buying by the gallon? Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's the reason I did that. Um, it's not going to go bad. I have, I typically have, you know, somewhere around 12 pounds of soy curls in my, in, in my freezer. I use liquid smoke in any recipe that used to have bacon in it, you know, that, or that needs uh, some kind of uh, liquid smoke. I'm not drinking it by the gallons. We're not eating it like that. You know, we're not consuming great amounts of liquid smoke, but it was so inexpensive to buy it by the gallon. And because it is nothing more than liquid smoke, it's just filtered water and smoke, um, it's not going to go bad. So I can keep it in my, uh, you know, my storage, my little storage pantry here, you know, Harry's room, you know, on my our room under the stairs. And I can keep it in there. It stays cool in a dark place and I don't have to worry about it. You know, you know, it'll probably take me years, years. I would think it would take me two years to get through all that, that, uh, liquid smoke. But, it, and if anybody ever needs any, I can share it. I have plenty to share, but it was so cheap to buy a gallon of, of liquid smoke. I really couldn't pass it up. Plus I considered if I didn't buy the gallon and I just kept going back and forth to the store buying the little bottles, all the plastic bottles that would have ended up in the landfill. I was like, why do I do that? So why don't I just buy the gallon and keep really refilling my one plastic bottle and um, you know, and just do it that way. So save on the environment, save all the trips to the store, See, it's a win-win. <laughs> Annette's saying, I cooked brown rice and I also cooked beans yesterday, both in the iPod. Woo, woo, yeah. <gasps> Has it been five minutes yet? I think it's time. I need a plate. Should I eat? I'm just going to eat over the pan. Let's see if I can get this to come out. Let's see. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, look. I love silicone bakeware. Look at that. Oh, looky. Ow, ow, this is on. Oh, it's on. But look. Bake. Look at that. Nice and golden brown on the bottom. Oh, oh, that fell off. Oh, let me save it. Oh, my goodness. Here, you want a bite? Nom, 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 nom. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's definitely ready. Hold on, let me take these off because they're starting to get wet. You know how baked goods go. All right, I'm going to make a mess. Look at that. Oh, I love silicone bakeware. Look, I don't need a spatula. What was I thinking? Silly Jill. Oh, they make a mess, though. I am just pushing the cup from the bottom. And I'm making it pop up. That's it. Ow, it's hot though. It's still hot, but it's not so hot I'm hurting myself. La 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 Oh yeah, baby. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to stick you in my face. Should I call the family down? They might come running. Oh my gosh. Let's just look at these. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a birdie. All right. This is the last of them. As soon as I call my family down, they're gone. You watch. All right. Here we go. Goodbye, muffins. It's been nice knowing you and looking at you. Oh, no. Charlie, Max, and Maggie. I have muffins. Muffins? I have banana muffins. You show her muffins. You're going to need a plate. I had muffins. muffins. Come stand right here. Muffins. Come stand on this side. Muffins. There you go. Muffins. They're banana muffins. 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 Stand right here and get, get your face in there. Are they good? Delicious. Uh -huh. 
It's delicious. Oh, don't be saying that just because everybody's Even watching. Right? Even ponchos oh, ponchos. Ponchos careful. cleaning up the muffins from the bottom. Hey, where's your daddy? I don't know. He's in where's your daddy? He's sleeping. I'm there there he is. Tony's coming. I'll be a sleepyhead this morning. Come in, come and have a banana muffin with a granola top. Wow. And come squeeze in. I can't squeeze out anymore. You just squeeze in. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gosh, these are good. Mmm. Yeah, they're so crumbly. Punch they're messy. That's what the broom is. Max, Punch is cleaning up. He'll be all right. Mm-hmm. Oh. I got the vacuum cleaner right Delicious. here. Delicious. There, Poncho. These are really good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm. I'm good. Thank you. You're this welcome. This is cinnamony. It is. There's cinnamon in the granola top, and there's cinnamon in the bread. And they're just little banana muffins. And there's you'll probably hit on a pecan. Yeah. A finely chopped pecan. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. You need some milk. Hmm. That's a two muffin morning. Yeah, it is. Mm. You're not sharing with the dog. I'm trying to. No. Ma'am. I'm trying not to mess up the floor. Yeah, it's all right. Mm. Good morning. Morning. You're not going to finish your muffin, Mikey? No, I got my own cereal. Oh, that's right. She's got breakfast already. Well, it'll be here for you when you get ready. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Is that got apple in it? No, just banana. Or banana. Okay. Mmm. Yeah, two two mashed bananas. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Mmm. Oh, Margie wants to know what part tastes best. The inside. Max says the inside. Mmm. I have to agree. I kind of like the outside. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a. Yeah. It's a. Uh, you know, it's like it's fun, right? It's fun to eat the top off. Mm-hmm. And then the inside, the bottom, I guess, you know, everybody likes the top of their bottom, right? Yeah. So, but then the bottom has its own character. It's, you know, it's a muffin. And then you can get into the nuts and the banana and the and stuff. Yeah. But when you're eating the, kind of the stuff off the top, it's like, a, you know, eating the, it's like eating a candy or something. Yeah, that's the maple syrup. But not sweet. I mean, yeah, but, but, it's yeah. not overly sweet. Uh -uh. Yeah, I think the nuts and the cinnamon kind of cut down on that. Of course, I didn't use a lot of maple syrup. I used just enough to make everything cl cling to, to each other. But mm -hmm. yeah, the whole thing, oh. the whole thing is not. It's it's sweet, air quotes, but it's mm -hmm. not like. But it's not candy. Yeah, it's not it's not sugary. Uh uh It's just tasty. Um, Shelley says. Something about a pecan. It's no, not a pecan. No, no. <laughs> a pecan is something you put under your bed. <laughs> this is pecan. 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 Uh-uh. Mmm. <gasps> Leticia, thank you. Did I say your name right? She said we have a lovely family. Adorable family. Oh, thank you. Cinnamon is the spice here. Go for it. You can. Oh, you got another one. I was looking here, <laughs> and I thought that was the camera. <laughs> mm. Oh, thank you, Sherry. She says our family makes her smile. Makes me smile too. <gasps> They're pretty cool. Y'all make me smile. Oh. I love having y'all. Not you. Oh. Them. Oh. <laughs> you know you make me smile, baby. You know you can. <gasps> there you go. Get Maggie's. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Yummy. I don't know if we're going to make it to the lentil soup. I can't tell. It's cooking, but I still have to let the pressure go down. I'll tell you what I might do. It's 11 o'clock. Trust me that it's cooked. I mean, we could stay longer. If you want to hang out, 
till the lentil soup is cooked, we can do that, but we are at the top of the hour. So if you have somewhere to go, you won't leave, I understand. Um, or I can just post the results of the, you know, the soup when it's finished to Instagram or something like that. What do y'all want to do? <laughs> this took me a while to eat. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Give me this. She'll hang out. Mm. Mm. Pam's, Pam's going to make the muffins. Yay! Just as soon as this video's over, I'll type up the recipe for y'all. And I'll post it in the comments below. Mmm. Okay, good. Mmm, stay. Good. Mmm. If you want to, you could probably write down the recipe and the time we're going to take to wait for this muffin. So y'all go get a pen. Y'all go get a pen and a paper right now. I'm going to go get the recipe. Nacho. Okay. Y'all ready? Mmm. Margie says she's excited to use her brand new silicone muffin pan. <gasps> yeah. I love silicone. I don't care what people say about it. I know there's some people that freak out about sil sil silicone. I do not. I'm not one of those. Oh no, chat box was locked. Shelly says, can I ask a question about the recipe, please? Yes. Can maple syrup be replaced with coconut nectar? My husband seems to prefer the nectar. Yes. The maple syrup that I used to make the, the crumble on top, it's just there to bring the oats together. Okay, that's it. That's not doing anything else. In fact, um, last earlier this week, plant eater is going to totally relate to this. I made another crumble that McDougal crumble again, except I just had apples. I didn't put any cranberry in it. And instead of putting, uh, my apples were sweet enough. So instead of putting sugar, uh, putting maple syrup in the crumble, I just added water. And I added the same amount of water as I would have added maple syrup. And that was perfect to bring the oats and the flour together and bring, make it crumble. And then I put that on top and it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. So you don't even really need a sweetener unless you want it to be sweet. If you just need some crunch on top, you can use water. So there you go. Um, hold on, you know what I just realized? I don't have the recipe for the crumble. Um, Y'all are gonna have to, <laughs> hold on just a second. Let me go get that one. I gotta remember where I put that. Um, where did I put that recipe? Oh, it's here. Ah, ah! My green screen caught my ears. Hold on. Let me find it. Under sweets, I put it in sweets. I think I did. Yeah, there it is. I found it. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now we can go back to the kitchen. <laughs> Pancho, nacho, you so sweet. oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know how that equates to Celsius, but I'm sure you know. If you have to equate things to, to Celsius, you probably already know how to do the math. Okay, so oven set to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, to make the crumble, 
We need a half a cup of rolled oats, a half a cup of chopped walnuts, a fourth cup of whole wheat pastry flour, or whatever flour you have on hand. It's just, you know, a, a, for a binder. Whatever flour you're gonna use to make the muffins will work, okay? A half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then two teaspoons of some kind of liquid sweetener. I'm sorry, two, did I say table? Two tablespoons of liquid sweetener. <gasps> Vanessa has to go. Okay, and then what you'll do is you just put all that in a little bowl and stir that around with a fork and it'll all come together and look like a crumble. There, you know, as you're stirring, when you first stir it, it looks really dry and you think, oh no, it's not ever going to get dry. But just keep stirring and then give that uh, liquid sweetener enough time to get that flour wet and it will all come together and it will eventually look wet. Okay, so just keep stirring until it looks wet and then stop. All right, now let's talk about these banana muffins. All right, you're gonna need two cups of whole wheat pastry flour, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon cinnamon, two ripe bananas mashed. I used, um, I had two large bananas for mine. One cup of non-dairy milk, whatever you have on hand, doesn't matter. A fourth cup of some kind of granulated sugar. So in this original recipe, it was recommended succinate. I, I can't get my hands on succinate, but I can get my hands on organic granulated sugar. So any, so whatever you have on hand for that. One fourth cup chopped nuts. Now the original recipe said walnuts. I felt like pecans today. You could use almonds as well, whatever chopped nut that you have on hand that you think would go together in a, you know, go well in a banana muffin. Okay, that's it. That's all you need. And then you saw me put it together. <gasps> you hear that? <gasps> that's the iPod. Yay! It's done. There we go. <gasps> the soup is ready. Okay, so you saw me put that together. So you're going to mix your dry ingredients, make a well, add your wet ingredients, stir just until the the dry ingredients have taken up or have moistened but you know you saw that you don't you let the batter get lumpy and then use yourself an ice cream scoop to to divide up your batter and you're going to bake for 18 to 20 minutes depending on how hot your oven runs i went 18 and that was perfect use the silicone baking pan if you have one if you do not then yes, I'm going to recommend that you uh, grease your regular metal pan. But if you have metal pans, you know how to work with them. You do, you know, you know what to do. All right. Now, typically on my go-to lentil soup, I would wait about 10 minutes and then I would release the pressure and be on my way. Actually, I don't even release the pressure. Usually what I do is when I'm making go-to lentil soup, I put it together in the morning and I just let it go and I let I let the iPod stay in keep warm mode and then it's just hot and ready for us by lunchtime. Because you saw how easy it was to throw together and uh, I just abandoned my iPod after that. So um, that's how I really do. But since we're you know, doing the show thing, doing the live thing, I'm gonna go ahead and let the, the steam off and let y'all see what it looks like. But this is, this will make so much food. We'll be eating, this is gonna be lunch and dinner, honestly. We're gonna eat, we eat the same food. That's how we roll. You know, it's not a, it's probably just my house, but I'm not, 
one of those cooks that feels like I have to eat around the world every day. And I, I feel like to realistically sustain an oil-free, whole food, plant-based life and get everything else done in life, you know, pay attention to all those other responsibilities that we have. It's really important to just double up on your recipes, or for me, it's, it's important for me to double up on my recipes and that we just eat the same foods. We just eat the same foods until they're gone. Usually during the week, I will have two things in the refrigerator going that gives my family a choice as to what they want to eat. But I am not the kind of cook who feels like they need to have something, you know, that I have to provide my family something fresh and new every day. That doesn't work. That creates pickiness. When they know this is what there is to eat, here are your choices, then they pick. If they have too many choices, what happens, and I've learned this the hard way, if I give them too many choices, I end up throwing food out. And who wants to do that? Why should we waste our food? If I just keep it simple, two different, you know, here's what we have, we, and I'll tell them, it needs to be eaten up. Before I'll make anything else, I'm, you know, we gotta eat this. Well then we'll eat it all up, and then I can wash out those dishes and I can use them again. One of the perks to only having one casserole dish, you know, kind of thing. So, uh, <laughs> but anyways, that's the way we roll around here, and that's the way I keep my sanity and it's a way for us to, you know, appreciate what we have. You know, we can we can take for granted our family members, you know, people that don't cook take for granted that um you know what it takes to put on a meal. And uh, I'm certainly not one of those cooks that, you know, I I have to have like, you know, all these courses to a meal. If you if you've followed me any amount of time, you you notice that I'm kind of a one a one pot kind of person a casserole kind of person. I, I try to, when I'm choosing recipes, I'm trying to choose recipes that I can put out that, um, that are nourishing, that have as many vegetables in them. They're well-rounded on their own. You know, they've got everything that they would, that a, a four course meal would have, but it's just all in one pot or all in one pan and I can get it done within an hour. You know, typically it takes me an hour to prepare, cook, and clean up my meals. And so, um, um, anyways, that's just that's just the way I roll. That, you know, and I'm sure that I could be, I, I've, if I tried, I could be someone who tries to you know create different courses and have a plate with all these all this variety. But it's really not how. It's not how I, it's just not how my brain goes. You know what I'm saying? It's just not how I think. <sighs> Rollum says they should cook too. Yes. You know, if I would let my family into the kitchen while I was cooking, they could cook too. But my family actually does cook. They, they do cook on their own. If I have... If I make sure, here's another tip too, so long as I make sure that they have the ingredients they need to cook the things that they know how to cook, then yeah, they'll be happy to cook dinner. Um, you know, Max and Maggie both know how to cook up Campo burritos. They both know how to make up a casserole full of enchiladas. Um, of course, it's really simple because it's only two ingredients. My husband, you know, he knows how he can make a mean batch of mashed potatoes in the iPod. Uh, they haven't, just like me, you know, they, they're still learning how to steam broccoli without overcooking it. You know, that's hit and miss, but that's kind of a trial and error thing. And we, you know, the nights that they cook, it's usually um, like I keep Gardein beefless patties and black bean patties in the freezer back there. I keep bags and bags of hash browns uh, for them and so they will or and uh, well the hash browns I like to use the hash browns because there's no oil in the hash browns so we've learned that it's no big deal a potato is a potato right so on the nights that they feel that they're gonna cook and uh, we'll do up hamburgers and um, since I'm not cooking 
they'll just make a whole pan of hash browns. And the hash browns are our french fries. And nobody cares. Nobody cares. So long as there's some potato yeah. next to the hamburger, they don't really care what shape it is. So that's been a real plus. So we can have our potatoes, but they're not oily. So that's cool. Oh, I can't pronounce her name, but they said, I'm so excited to be here. I always watch the video later. It's great to read all the comments. I'm with you. I wish the comments would translate right into the comment section. That way we could share because there's so much good information in the chat box. It's a shame that it just, you know, it vanishes when the video's over. It really is a shame. I hope one day YouTube figures out how to save the chat box. Just like, um, you know, remember when we used to, I used to use the hangwith.com app. They save the chat box with the video. And I wish YouTube would learn how to do that too, because that would be awesome to be able to follow through and grab that information that we share with each other, especially when we're sharing uh, links and we're sharing tips and stuff like that. It's all gone. <sighs> Aziz is asking, why, does, why do I use the funny rabbit ears to make you smile? That is all it's about. There's really no agenda to the ears. Uh, what was it? What is it? How long have I been wearing ears? Like two years now? Uh, I was at a store and um, I just felt like buying some bunny ears for Easter. And um, the community, I posted a picture of two different sets of bunny ears. And everybody chose these, the fuzzy ones. And I wore them in a video and I did it a few times. And then when I didn't wear them in the video, the community was like, where are your ears? Put your ears back on. So now they've become a part of me. And I like that, you know, there's, there's so many families that watch me and so many little kids that watch the videos too. And uh, in my mind, I kind of think that the ears help the kids to sit still and let mom and dad watch my videos because I'm, you know, being silly. Uh, they're really helpful when I go out in public uh, to like a health event and we do a big event or something like that. People see my ears, my fans can spot me in a crowd and then it gives us an opportunity to find each other and get selfies together. So now they're a part of me. I don't think anything about it now. They're just who I am. That's it. That's the story of the ears. It's not sexy, but that's it. <sighs> Thank you, Sherry. Kimmy Jean says, I live for bunny ears. They make my morning. I like them too. I have several pair now. I bought these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, they, you know, uh, during Easter, they, they always have these same style of bunny ears. So I bought, last year I bought, or this year I bought several just to have that stock, just in case they stop making them. You know what I'm saying? You know how that goes? Just like a good pair of shoes. You think the maker of the shoe the shoemaker's going to keep making the shoe and then they stop making it. And you're like, ah, if I'd known they were going to stop making the shoe, I'd have bought 15 pair. Yeah, well, that's how I did here. So who does that? Anybody else do that? <sighs> I do wear a funny furry tail. You just don't see it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, who else does that? When you find a pair of shoes that you really love or a blouse that you really like, you buy two. When I buy pants, confession time, when I buy yoga pants or capris that uh, fit me perfectly and are so flattering to my waist and, you know, my shape, I will buy five pair. If there are five pair on the shelf to be had, I will buy five pair and, uh, and then uh, follow the ears. That's how I roll with pants because fashion changes and it never changes for the flattering. You know, I can't stand today's fashion for young women. And for, you know, gals our age with these mature figures, um, fashion does not treat us well. So when I come across clothing that fits, I stock up. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about clothes. Let's go get that lentil soup. I'm taking you with me. <gasps> Na, 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 na. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost finished. We're gonna look at this soup and then I'm gonna let y'all go. I got a, I got a kitchen to clean up. All right, stay right there. Oh, I need you to, here, let's get tall. I'm gonna let you look over. Give you like the 
eagle's perspective. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Stay right there. I don't need that. Ooh. There we go. <gasps> Mrs. Squash, come. Make your last appearance. All right. So see my little rod here? It's still in the up position. So I'm going to turn my steam release handle to venting and let the remaining steam out of the pot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this keep warm mode. It's going to take about a minute. It's going to take about a minute for the steam to come out of the pot. When this is happening, I do not put my hand over that steam. It's really hot. Don't put your face over it. You will burn yourself. I'm going to go get a ladle in a bowl. under the video just because the chat goes away doesn't mean we have to so if there's uh, any questions that I did not see in the chat that you have for me please post them in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them and I just want to thank everyone for making me a part of your morning this morning thank you for being here uh, I really enjoy getting together with y'all on Saturday morning y'all make me smile I love it it's just what better way to spend my Saturday I don't know. I like this. I like doing this. Okay, and just a reminder, one more time, the first weekend of November, I want you to set, a little, set aside a little time and be ready Thursday after, Thursday at lunch, Friday at lunch, and then that first Saturday, um, that Saturday morning, we're going to get started like at 9 o'clock. And get ready to hang out with me until probably about 1.30. It's going to be quite a showdown. So I've got something really big planned. And I really would love it if you guys can make it. It's going to be awesome. Tons of recipes. Lots of recipes. I think there's like 20, 27 recipes. Three days, 27 recipes. <gasps> what? How is she going to pull that off? <gasps> well, you're going to have to wait and see. Anyways, so stay tuned for that. I will post a kind of a TV schedule for us so you'll know what I'll be making and when. And, um, and all that good jazz. I'm kind of giving it away, aren't I? Ooh, I'm give, dropping some clues. It's going to be so cool. We done? Come on, baby. There we go. Steam's over. There it is. That's it. That's the bit. That's it. That's it. All right. And if you want a copy of this recipe, you're going to have to buy my book, OMG Good Instapot Meals Plant-Based and Oil-Free. You can find it on Amazon in print and in Kindle. So uh, just check it out over there. If you buy the print, you can get the Kindle version for free. Okay, now let's check out this soup. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yummy. All right, so all the spinach is on top. This is kind of dark, isn't it? And I'm just going to stir. There's the potatoes. There's the potatoes. Oh, my goodness. Yum. Ow, ow, it's hot. It splashed on me. All right. Oh, my goodness. I love this stuff. Now this will, this is pretty soupy right now, but if you guys 
if you know, or maybe you don't know, if you don't know anything about lentils, they will keep getting thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. So this soup is loose right now because it's so hot, but when this cools, it'll get really, really thick. Let's get this in a little better light. I want you to see this. This is so pretty. Look here. I'm gonna drop you down, baby. Get, let you get a closer look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that soup. This is so good. And this the next day, I'll tell you what Max likes to do. Max, the next day, this will be so thick that you can cut it and it'll be a, uh, you can uh, put it in a wrap or uh, in a cabbage leaf or something like that. And this turns out, this will make a sandwich filling, a wrap filling. It is so good. Look how beautiful. Look at that. And the, oh, that spinach is tender and ready. And these potatoes, I've got a spoon here. I'm going to show you these potatoes. There, there we go. I just had to break, I had to push a little hard to break through the skin, but they are tender. Now I am not even going to try to bite into that because that will be like a little b a lava bomb. So I'm not going to try to even eat this. I know this is good. I cannot wait for y'all to try this out. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> Isn't it yummy? I had to go get the laptop. All right, there you go. So that's it. So uh, yeah, so Max will he'll take this he'll take this soup tomorrow after it's cooled down and gotten really thick, and he will get out some tortillas and he will uh, heat it up. He'll reheat it just enough, and then he'll fill his tortillas and eat three uh, tortillas full of this soup. It is so awesome. It's really good. It reminds me of. What are those called? Samoas? Indian Samoas or Samosas? What are those called? You know, the little the little fried pastry with the potato and spinach on the inside? Oh my goodness, it's awesome. All right, so there you go. There you have it. All right, I'm going to let everyone go. Let y'all go get on with your Saturday. Thank you again for watching. Um, again, if you have any questions, let's keep on talking in the comments below. All right, y'all have fun. I will see y'all Tuesday night in the plant-based lifestyle support group on Facebook. Be sure to, to tune in over there. If you're not a member, I totally encourage you to go over there. If you are new to eating plant-based or you're considering eating plant-based or you're the only one in your family who eats plant-based and you are looking for a loving, supportive, non-judgmental, safe community to hang out in, then please come join me at the Jill McKeever Plant-Based Lifestyle Support Group on Facebook. It is a closed or private group, and we share our successes and our challenges that we face on our plant-based journey over there. We do not talk about recipes and cooking. We save that for our other group, our sister group, Plant-Based Recipe Hoarders. But on the Lifestyle Support Group, you can share what's on your mind, share your challenges, and successes it's really fun and you can do it in you know it's just really cool lots of great people over there too all right now really i'm gonna let you go i love y'all y'all have fun have a beautiful saturday bye